everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to use horse shader. My previous tutorial was really, really bad. I realize that now. So I will be remaking it, and it will be shorter, faster, and explain better. Uh, first thing you're going to do is load in MMD and load up model and the stage. Next thing you want to do is click on this tab right here. But what if you don't have the tab? Then you open up you learnmmd.com and you would click, it says download, you open this up, and you find the part of the page that says to download it. So you would download the folder, and then I'll show you what to do next. Uh, if you want 32-bit, 64-bit, I'm going to use 64-bit. Click on it. It's fine. Uh, I did this a while ago. I'm not sure what happened next. Point is, this is supposed to download. It downloaded. It's a zip file, so next you're going to unzip it. I have WinRAR, which I hate, and I'm, I'm afraid to uninstall. So I'm going to unzip it. It depends on how well your computer is, how long it takes. Delete the original file if you want to. If you're not keeping it, I'm just delete that. Close this. So then you open up your folder. I open up again, and uh, what you're doing to do is you take these. There are instructions in here on what to do. So, the thing you do, as I did before, you take these three .dll files, you open up wherever you keep MMD. It's not, it's the folder where you, or it's, it's the folder that has this cute little picture in it, and you drag and drop them in here, like this. See, I already have them. In here, that's why it works, so I don't want that. Uh, to get this to work, you have to close MMD and open it up again, and this tab should be here. Now, once your tab is here, click on it, effect mapping. Might want to open this up. First, I'm going to choose my model. Set effect. Uh, find your effects folder, wherever you keep your effects. And find where you kept your horse shader. There are many different types of horror shader, that's why I like it. The, they all work the same. You open up one. The first one is the least intense. The, the last one is the most intense. So you just click on a model, and you set an effect, and you play around with it to see which one makes it look the best. If your model looks too orange, well that's okay, there's a neutral effect for it. Just play around with it, find what you like. It works on stages and on X files too. So uh, maybe I want the stage to be nighttime. And now it's dark. Now you can load an emotion, and it looks really nice. I think it looks very 3D. If you remove the effect, it looks really bland. I don't like that. So you play around, you set whichever effect you like, make it look good, whatever makes you happy. That's how you use Horror Shader. Thank you for watching.